the chain rule is a general rule that's going to summarize all of our basic differentiation properties. So what it states <clears throat> is that for some function, m of x, which is a function composed of f of g of x, so g of x, some interior function being plugged into f of x, we can find the derivative of m of x by finding f prime evaluated at g of x times g prime of x. So really all this is saying is just in one property, summarizing those three general properties that we'd already established. But it's saying the same thing. We differentiate following the rule for the outer function and then multiply by the derivative of that inner function. So in this case, our inner function is x cubed plus 6. Our outer function is u to the negative fifth. So we start off by following the rule for a power function, which means this will become negative 5 times the quantity x cubed plus 6 to the negative sixth. So we start off again following that rule for the following the power rule. So the exponent comes down as a factor in front. The original exponent gets reduced by 1. And then we multiply by the derivative of that interior function. Which in this case, the derivative of that interior function will be 3x squared. Which will give us negative 15x squared all over x cubed plus 6 to the 6th power. So we still just need to recognize whatever that inner function is. In example 10, the inner function is 9x. So we'll start off by finding the derivative, g prime of x, by following the rule for e to the x. So to differentiate e to the x, that function would just remain unchanged, so we get e to the 9x and then times the derivative of that interior portion. So in this case, we would get 9 e to the 9x. In example 11, we've got a problem that we want to start off by rewriting. One approach would be to apply the quotient rule because we have a function divided by another function. But if we rewrite this as negative 4 times 2x to the 4th plus 9 raised to the negative second power, now we don't need to use the quotient rule. Oh, I'm sorry, that should be to the third power, to the negative third power. Instead of using the quotient rule, now we can use the chain rule, where our interior function is 2x to the 4th plus 9 and we want to follow the rule for a power function. We've got something being raised to the negative third power. So h prime of x will be negative 4, because that's our constant multiple, not affected by the derivative, times negative 3 times 2x to the fourth plus 9 to the negative fourth power. So all we did here was took the original exponent brought it down as a factor in front, and decrease the original exponent by 1, times the derivative of our interior function. So this will give us negative 4 times negative 3 is 12 times 2x to the 4th plus 9 to the negative 4th, and then the derivative of that interior function will be 8x cubed. or 96x cubed over 2x to the fourth plus 9 to the fourth. 